have been a slew of impressive indie games released on Steam recently, and now another one joins the ranks. The Bridge is a 2D logic puzzle game with confusing puzzles that will challenge even the cleverest gamers. So is The Bridge a brain-bendingly good time, or will you just be puzzled as to why you bought it? Let's find out. The bridge will awe you with its simultaneous simplicity and complexity in almost every aspect of the game. Each level presents you with a new logic puzzle to solve, and as you'd expect, it ramps up in difficulty as you progress through each chapter. The mechanics of what you yourself can do are very simple. You can walk left and right, and you can turn the game world left and right. What this means on each specific puzzle varies as the mechanics of the puzzles become more complex. Gravity will behave in weird ways, and you'll have to find the best way to manipulate yourself, the level, and various other items in order to unlock the door that will finally lead you out of the level and onto the next one. If you mess up, you can always restart the puzzle completely or simply rewind to where you think you made your mistake. The mechanics are perfect, and you'll be surprised just how deep something this simple gets. When I started the bridge, my initial worry as I played through the first several chapters was that the puzzles would be too easy, and they are fairly easy at first. Then they add things like these voids you get sucked into, variable gravity, and place you into M.C. Escher-style tripped-out optical illusions, and the game becomes extremely difficult, sometimes seemingly impossibly so. Later on in the bridge, you'll walk around through a puzzle for literally an hour before you finally have that aha moment and realize how to solve it. Everything about the art design is flawless. They really did try to harken back to the days of the Escher lithographs with a pencil sketched look, and the gorgeous art is accompanied by a beautiful, sometimes haunting, orchestral score, which will soothe you through your frustration when you find yourself stuck in the later chapters. And you will find yourself stuck. Trust me. If I had to say one thing that bothered me about the bridge, it would be that some of the early levels seem to be able to be solved just by rotating the screen enough, even if you didn't understand how or why you were able to solve the puzzle. But these issues are addressed later when the puzzles become way too difficult for you to solve by cheating it in this way. The game will last you, well, however long it lasts you. I suppose if you're a genius, you won't spend much time with it, but I've played for probably about five or six hours and I'm still stuck on one of the later levels. As far as replay value, I don't know that there is much after you've solved it, kind of like the puzzles in Portal, but I'm sure it would be fun watching your friends struggle to find the solutions. The Bridge is an amazing game from its presentation to its mechanics, and while it starts out easy, it will leave even the brightest people stumped at times. It's cheap and fun. Seriously, if you're into puzzle games at all, pick this one up. I give The Bridge 9.9 .9 little guys with creepy eyes out of 10. For more reviews and all things gaming, be sure to keep it locked right here to Smosh Games.